Windows 10 forgets folder view settings and causes desktop icons to move. So there's known issue with the ESET software, their security suite, which if it was already installed and you did an upgrade without running a compatible version, it causes this issue. And you can't fix it by uninstalling the program. You actually have to modify the registry. So I'm just going to walk you through. I'll post a link to their forums below with the fix. And I'm going to walk through the fix right now. So first open Reg Edit. So right click on your start menu icon and choose Run. Type in Reg Edit, hit Enter. Once the registry editor is open, we need to locate these two keys and change the value to the correct value. So we can easily find them. The keys both have the same number. Just highlight the number, including the squiggly brackets, and copy. Then in the registry editor, choose Edit, Find, and paste that in beside Find What. You only have to look at keys. So choose Find Next. You can validate it's the correct key by comparing the key name at the bottom in the status bar. And you'll find that this matches this second entry here. So expand that along the left. Click on in Pro Server 32. You'll notice the data in default ends in shell32.dll. We need to modify that to be windows.storage.dll. In order to modify this key, we have to take ownership of it. Right now it's currently owned by the system. So we're gonna right click on in Pro Server 32, choose permissions, Highlight users, put a check mark beside full control, click advanced. At the top beside owner, it says system, click change, type in users, click check names to validate, it should become underlined, click OK, then click OK again, and click OK again. We can now modify this key. So double click on the default key, delete what's there. And we're going to type in or copy and paste in the correct value. Click OK. So now we just need to change the permission back. So right click on Impro Server 32 again. Choose permissions. Highlight users. Uncheck full control. Click advanced. Beside owner, click change. Type in system. Check names, should become underlined, click OK, click OK again, and click OK again. Now because the number is the same for both keys, we can just hit the F3 key on the keyboard, it'll find the next one, or go to Edit and Find Next. You can validate the key is the correct one, you'll see that this matches the first key we need to change. So again, we need to take ownership. So right click on in Pro Serve 32, click permissions, highlight users, put a check mark beside full control, click advanced, beside owner, click change, type in users, check names, click OK, click OK again, and OK again. Then we just need to modify this key, delete the shell.dll one, and paste in the correct value one that ends in storage.dll. And then last up, we just need to right click on Impro Server 32, permissions, highlight users, uncheck full control, click advanced, beside owner at the top, click change, type in system, Check names should become underlined. That just validates it's a valid user. Click OK. Click OK again. And OK again. So now you just need to reboot the computer. And the icon should stop moving. I'll post this all down below, including the link to this page.